There was another guy that we embraced, a guy named Galen. Galen was the head of um, the the German the, the German intelligence service in the far uh, you know in the east. Uh, he ran the the network. So as the Germans occupied uh, the Soviet Union, he created these human intelligence networks um, that we're supposed to stay behind if the Russians advanced or infiltrate, you know, in advance of a German advance. Um, and it's an extensive organization, extensive. So at the end of the war, Galen turned this organization over to the United States, which took it over. And many of these guys that we were supporting um, were in the Ukraine and in, you know, in, in the Eastern, in the Polish Ukrainian area. Um, you know, if you, if you know anything about the history of that area, Poland got dismantled um, in 1939, and they got re re dismantled in 1945, and uh, a big portion of Poland was given to Ukraine, and uh, the city of Lvov is actually one, one of the places. Um, but there there was the organization of uh, you know, of Ukrainian nationalism, uh, the Ukrainian Nationalist Army, whatever. They fought a brutal conflict with the uh, with the with the Russians. I mean. Uh, you know, they killed 23,000 Russian soldiers. They lost 200,000 of their own in the in the, in the reprieve. We're talking about serious, serious conflict, all funded by the CIA. The CIA funded these people, provided them weapons, um, provided them the intelligence. Um, and then when the when the conflict ended, they became a political group. We, we then turned them into a propaganda group, spread information against the Soviet Union. Um, the the fact is that these uh, these you know, we stopped funding them in, I believe, 1990 when the Cold War ended, but we always maintain these links to them. So the notion that the Nazi movement in Ukraine is a modern phenomenon is absurd. It's been there. It's been uh, it's in the DNA of of uh, of Western Ukraine. And um, if you're a Soviet like my wife was, if you're a Russian, you hate the Nazis with a visceral hatred that's hard to describe. Um, these are the people that invaded your country are responsible for the deaths between 23 and 30 million people. Uh, and so now we have a Ukrainian government in 2014. Uh, the Maidan, let's let's back up for a second. I think I implied this before, I'll state it again. Uh, the Ukraine that emerged at the end of the Cold War uh, is the single most corrupt nation in Europe. It's a disgusting excuse for, 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 for a government. They're oligarchs that steal everything for their own wealth, and they let the, the they let the uh, Ukrainian people suffer. If you go through Ukraine, uh, you'll see giant mansions uh, that are connected with well paved roads that connect to a little airport where they have their private jet. Beyond that, you have dirt roads and mud roads because the Ukrainian government doesn't take care of its people. Um, that's just the reality. It's just a corrupt, corrupt country. Um, and in, in, in I think 2003, 2004, there was a, a revolution, um, the Orange Revolution. Uh, one of those colored revolutions where the West uh, bounced out a, 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 a pro-Russian uh, government, I think Kravchuk was his name, and replaced him with um, with one guy, and then uh, some some girl came in, Timoshenko, whatever, uh, and they were talking about moving to the West, becoming part of the European Union, etc. Um, Russia didn't like that, and so there was some uh, some some politicking going on, and finally the Russians uh, got a guy named. Uh, uh, Yanukovych, uh, Viktor Yanukovych elected. And Yanukovych was a pro-Russian president who made some noises about the European Union. He didn't dismiss it totally, but he wasn't playing their game. And so what did the U.S. do? They orchestrated a coup. I mean, I, I, I love it that in America, when we have a, 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 a giant demonstration that turns into a riot that storms the Capitol, it's an insurrection. And I'm not, I'm, I don't want to get political. What happened that day was horrible. It's an insult to democracy, uh, et cetera. But, you know, we, we lose our head over one day of rioting where the, 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 the rioters actually peacefully left the Capitol uh, afterwards. Um, that doesn't excuse what they did, but we call that an insurrection. But in the Maidan, where we weaponized dissent, we brought in the Nazis, we, the people that we know, the people we trained, we organized, we know who they were. We brought them out of the woodwork brought them to Kiev, turned them loose on the street where they slaughtered people, snipers, everybody, you know, the big fiction of the Russian, of the bill of the Ukrainian government snipers. No, no, no. These were the Western Nazis firing down and blaming it on the, the government. They burned people alive. They murdered people and they took 